Today we're taking a look at a neat app in the Mac App Store called Photo Date Changer. Now this is a great app that's ability is to change the EXIF data on your digital camera photos. Well, why would you want to do that? Have you ever taken a shot of someone or something when you were on vacation? Perhaps it was the first time you pulled out your digital camera in a while and you noticed that the date isn't right. And after you've taken your entire vacation photo roll, the date wasn't right. Well, what are you going to do to change that? You can't really do anything just by looking at the uh, Get Info tab on a folder or on a uh, file. For example, let's say we have our picture right here and we wanted to do our Get Info. What's it going to tell us about the picture? Well, it does tell us the dimensions here and it tells us the created date and the uh, modified date but if the date that it was originally set in the EXIF data isn't right, well, pretty soon our folders are going to be uh, all over the map, if you will, date-wise. Now, why is that important? Well, if you ever upload photos to a photo sharing site, um, it'll want to sort those photos by the, the date uh, in the EXIF data. So if it's not correct, uh, those fo photos are going to get sorted incorrectly. So what we want to do is take a look at photo date changer here here it is in the mac app store but let's go over here and we'll open it up we'll get out of the mac app store here and here is the actual application photo date changer you can see here we've got some actions on the upper left we've got set exif timestamp and then we've got a calendar here uh, i've got it set to 1972 that might be a little excessive but if we go to today it'll bring up today's date and then we can go back and correctly choose a date that that photo was taken on so once we have that let's drag one of our folder photos over here and we just drag it right over into the uh, photo date changer um, file window we'll go ahead and get rid of that one that was the one that we had uh, up there before but we can also add file files by clicking on this little plus icon and it gives us our folder dialog but we can just drag them in there too so we've got a, full, a file and we dro drug it over into our uh, finder window here in photo date changer now we can set our date let's go ahead and set it to August 13th 2013 we can also change the time and you can do that by just dragging around on the clock or you can uh, go ahead and change the time uh, with these arrow toggles as well. So 11 o'clock a.m., 17 minutes after the hour on August 13, 2013. Now let's watch what happens. This photo it brings out here, if we look, it was shot on September 9th. We're going to change it to August 13th. And let's see what happens. Perform changes. Successfully process the item process successfully. And now we can see our date has changed to August 13th. So it's just as easy as that. Now you can do it to a, a bunch of folders as well. So let's say we've got a number of uh, files here, photos that we want to change. We can drag them right over and we'll change them all to that same date. So now we've got all of our files over here in Photo Date Changer and we're ready to go. We can set the date to August 13th at 11, 17 a.m. So let's say Perform Changes. Okay, so here we go. All 32 items were processed successfully. And if we look here, they're all changed to August 13th. So that was 32 items. It took a little bit of time to do that, but not too much. Um, not enough. You know, this isn't a rush process. So if we do have a, a bunch of folders or files that we want to go through, it's going to take some time. Um, another thing that you can do, which is pretty neat here with Photo Date Changer, is copy the EXIF timestamp to the creation date. If you've ever downloaded uh, a file from the internet, let's say a photo that you took that you had previously uploaded, and now you're downloading that file, the creation date often will be the date that you download the file and not the date that the photo was taken. So you may want to change that creation date to the date uh, in the EXIF data. Now you can go the other way around too. You can copy the creation date to the EXIF timestamp. 
So a number of different things you can do here with Photo Date Changer. We really like this app. Uh, it was a great app to change our EXIF information on the fly. We like the interface. It has a nice layout here of just being able to visually change the date and the time. And it was able to pr process our uh, photos the way we wanted to. Now one caveat here, if your files were scanned in, if they're not taken from a digital camera but were instead scanned in and they don't have any EXIF data, then Photo Date Changer is not going to be able to create EXIF data for those files. So just a word of caution, this only works on digital files, digital photos with EXIF data already embedded. But other than that, we really like the app, and uh, th again, it was Photo Date Changer, and it's available in the Mac App Store.